Hello everyone, here is your Saturday daily reading for all signs. Um, I will be resuming zodiac signs in October. I thank you in advance. I'm sorry I took that out. That's the Empress. The Prince of Cups. The Prince of Wands. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. All right, so this is the Urban Tarot. I kind of like, sometimes I like this deck, sometimes I don't. <laughs> it sort of depends. And here we have the Ace of Swords, also known as the Sword of Truth. So with the Sword of Truth is your overall energy now we're saying for Saturday, but really it's timeless. It can be at any point in time, but it'll likely resonate with you at the time that you watch it, if it is your reading. And with the sort of truth being the overall energy, and then we have the public defender, Queen of Wands, as our final outcome, I do feel that this sort of truth is going to illuminate illuminate a situation that feels uncomfortable, that makes you feel a sense of vulnerability. A situation in which you may feel you need an answer, whether right is going to be wronged or whether it is not. We do not see that. But we do see a situation in which it is extremely important for you to, if you're having a brand new beginning, to be very nurturing, very loving, to speak the truth openly, honestly, and directly, and to show yourself to be strong and confident. Not to move too fast, to move a little bit more slow, and not to believe everything that you hear from other people. There seems to be a pretty picture of a person in your life that is being painted in a negative way. This could be somebody speaking poorly of you, somebody speaking poorly, somebody gossiping about you, um, somebody who uh, may have appeared to have had your best interests at heart, but yet here they are, they're speaking badly of you. Like I said, a picture of you is being created in this person's mind. It could be that we have, that this is involving three people, a third party situation in which one individual is saying, you know, this queen of wands is, has done this, has done that, is this way, is that way, they're unreasonable, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so whoever has been crying wolf over here in this challenge position is actually speaking to a group of people who really don't hear them. This is like that person that's talked bad about you for years and years and years. And the more they talk bad about you, the more they make themselves look, look bad, right? The more they paint this picture of how dreadful you are to others, the more they make themselves look bad. And so we have an individual here who's relying on lies because they have this feeling of vulnerability. And those lies are gonna backfire in their face because the sword of truth always wins. The sword of truth will always illuminate the insignificant comments that are being made from somebody toxic, somebody wounded, somebody acting out from a place of wounding. You have a new beginning. You have a new beginning regarding your life, regarding the overall aspect of your life regarding love regarding wealth regarding family regarding relationships some of you will be moving towards a spiritual type of work
spiritual type of work. You could be bringing healing or nurturing energy to a large number of people, but yet somebody feels threatened by your presence, threatened by your confidence, and therefore they act in this unbecoming manner. But yet we have another person who's standing up and saying, and this is what you don't see. There's another person here who has your back, who's saying, no, 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 no. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe this person's, you know, feeling of wounding. Don't believe the story that they've fabricated. The actual truth is this, and let me show you. This is somebody who's uncovered the actual truth, the sword of truth. The journalist says, no, 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 no. <laughs> that story you've been telling, you may be spinning it in a way to make it appear all dramatic and all, all that. But no, 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 the actual truth is this. And so you have somebody standing up in your favor here. And it's going to be very important whether you identify as female, male, or they, them, does not matter. You have to harness this energy of the Queen of Wands to be strong and confident in the face of adversity, to not let your enemies cause you to fail, to not let this... In so let's go ahead and let's take you an Oracle card on this and see what else we can find. Stand on your own truth. The truth always wins. The truth always comes to light and the truth always wins. Peace. Look at this. The, eight, the sword of truth brings peace. You can rest easy and have peace if you know that the truth is something different than what this person is acting like or expressing. And resilience. Okay, so your resilience is faltering. And it's really important for you to try to remain resilient. Try to remain strong. Because like I said, the sword of truth always wins. All right, my dears. Love and light to you. Ocean signing off for now. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.